Hi, I'm Al. This is a video. Good morning! Good evening, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to more Geometry Dash. Today, uh, we're gonna be revisiting a level that I played and tried a really long time ago because the new top one, or potential new top one and legendary, not a Tartarus sequel, Acheron has finally been verified by Zoink after a devastating amount of late deaths. Three months of hard grinding on uh, Zoink's part, it has finally been released. And I remember back when Wolves was like, hey, Aeon, do you wanna try? Acheron and I said sure I tried it and it was really really hard from what I know it's buffed so uh, we're gonna be giving it a shot we're gonna see what it's all about and I'm terrified of the idea that this is a harder version of Acheron than I tried and back when I tried I was like this feels impossible this feels like it's genuinely like a step above what we currently have so the fact that this is a buffed version is insane Zoying for reference beat Silent Club's death very very quickly He's beaten all of the other top 10s, so I'm fairly certain at least. And he took it, this took him three months. This is a very hard level and seeing something like this verified is terrifying. And here it is verified by Zoink. I, this is scary. This is very scary. It's uploaded on Ryamu's account uh, for anyone to play. Go check it out. Huge shout outs to Zoink as per always for this incredible, incredible feat of just raw skill. I'm super impressed, but we're going to give it a shot. I'm going to be non-filtered. For those of you who do not know, Acro was actually the one top one that I said I actually do like this level. I think it's a cool level. I love the song. Thermodynamics is a fantastic song. It's just overall a level that I genuinely think is a solid level. If this gets rated, place top one, we might finally have a top one that I genuinely feel like is a good level again, which is really exciting. That hasn't been the case since like Bloodlust. Yeah. So anyway, without further ado, let's hop into it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. And let's get our ass handed to us. So, uh, just to begin here, we obviously have the, the impossible first jump, uh, which is like a hyper extended triple spike. Oh my God. What? There's no way. Is that a 360 hertz only thing? I'm gonna I'm gonna do this on 360 just for my own sake here, cause uh yeah, that seems very hard. The fact that I'm struggling this much with the first jump, out, oh there we go, we did it. Okay, so we have this beginning here. The thing about the thing I really like about this level is that it doesn't. I, I don't feel like it beats around the bush. Acheron is not like that long. It follows a similar structure to Tartarus in the sense that it just. It gets into the drop at like, I think it's at like 16, 17%. It's really early, which I like. I like the fact that this level doesn't beat around the bush. I, I, I feel like a lot of top extreme demons as of late, they always take a really long time to get somewhere, right? Like the beginning of Abyss of Darkness is super slow. Uh, you got to get to like 35 or something to get anywhere on uh, Secret so in Circles. And with Slaughterhouse, you have the infamous first like 30% as well, which is all slow. So I'm very happy that this is a level that actually like kind of gets around around to like really quickly. We go here, hit that. That's a hard click actually. Damn. And then you hit that and then jump between that. Wow, you gotta hit that like ultra mega late. That's scary. Okay, so you fall between that. You gotta like fall between this, right? Where you go between this spike and this spike to land on this so you can jump. That's actually kind of silly. Cause like, that's a, that, that's a tight gap and having to like align that with uh, the blue orb tap, very hard. Jump between that, I'm pretty sure. Then you hit this, hit this blue orb, jump between that. Yeah, oh, that's such a sick jump. I don't know why. I don't know why I like that jump in particular. I just really like that jump. That jump is awesome. And then we get into the drop. The drop starts at 19 and the first 19% is such compacted difficulty. Like, oh, there's just something about it. I don't know, it, it's just cool. It has a lot of really neat movements. It has a lot of like cool things. The only issue I really have with this level is the fact that it resembles Tartarus so much because, well, naturally I think that, I think this level would have been much cooler if it had like its own identity. I know it doesn't try to be a Tartarus sequel, and is not supposed to be, and that the creators just kind of like misinterpreted. And, and that's completely fine. I, I'm not gonna say that this is a Tartar sequel by any means. However, I do find it rather disappointing in a way that a level of this caliber kind of just like gets slotted in as a Tartar sequel just because of the fact that it just resembles it. And that, that's just kind of like how it is though. Because if you look at hell levels, a lot of them are just compared to stuff like Bloodbath because it's a hell level, right? And that's just kind of like the fate of those kinds of levels. You're just kind of like, you're, you're you're kind of screwed, let's be real. This is kind of sick, I, I I don't know why, but being able to do these couple of clicks here feels kind of awesome. 
This is so hard. It's actually funny. <laughs> like, I don't know how, like, the thing that makes this level so much, so impressive to me is the fact that it goes on to just do these, like, insane shit movements that I don't really feel like any other level really even attempts. Like, the ship parts in um, something like Slaughterhouse, for instance, aren't really that hard. Like, the ship parts are easy. Like, I could pass all of them after, like, a little tiny bit. Here, I'm, like, able to pass, like, a couple inputs. So, I feel like this is, like, the battle between impossible wave versus impossible ship. And not to say that the, the, the wave parts in this level are easy by any means. I had an absolutely horrid time trying to pass any of the, the wave parts in this when I, like, first tried this, uh, as you will see here. But the, the, the thing about this, though, that differentiates this, I find, to something like Slaughterhouse is the fact that all of this is impossible and not just one of the game modes. The, the thing about Slaughterhouse is that if you are good at wave, you can approach the level. Meanwhile, as with this, you just have to be like an all around insane player, which is very hard to accomplish, which is one of the reasons why I actually think this is a great top one is because of the fact that it challenges everything and not just like one thing. Like even with Tartarus, even with Tartarus, it really only challenged like, because a lot of the other game modes weren't really that hard. Tartarus had, was infamously really easy on the wave side of things because it's an old level. It was before people got like, really good at it. And mostly anyone can try and pass the wave parts in Tartarus. And same goes for a lot of the other parts. However, this level is just like, you're, you're screwed. I think that the thing that appeals to me with this level is that if you're, if you are aren't within like top 10 difficulty range for every single game mode and you can like consistently do gameplay for all of the the game modes within like that range of difficulty you're screwed for tartarus if you can do wave parts for like top 40s then you're good to go you can try it as long as you're good at ship and the same goes for like slaughterhouse if you can do sh wave parts or not wave parts lol if you can do ship parts for like a top 30 then you're good to go with slaughterhouse with this level you have to be overall extremely competent with all the game modes and i feel like it shows ah oh, that felt awesome this is the infamous 31 jump. This jump right here is absolutely ridiculous. Look at this, dude. Look at this gap. Uh, I've been watching a lot of Alpha, one Alpha Helix, huge shout outs. He is the other person who's been racing to complete this level. Go check him out, I'm gonna leave a link to both him and Zoic in the description. Uh, it was really, it's really fascinating to watch someone who's like really good at this level play this level because they would be getting to 31 like every single attempt almost. Like every like four or five attempts they would get getting to 31 and they would just die to 31. This jump right here seems like the most, the single most ridiculous jump ever. This jump is so silly. It's almost funny. <laughs> that. Wow, this jump is much harder than I expected it to be. I do not remember this UFO to be this hard. Okay, so we got that. Guys, 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 guys. It's Shalom! That's the hard machine, dude. That's the guy in the hard machine. Oh my god, dude, look at that. Isn't that crazy? I want to show that real quick because I noticed it. Are these fixed hitboxes? They look fixed hitboxes to me. Are they, though? No, they aren't. That's interesting. I thought that, that they they looked kind of fixed f to me, but they, I, I guess they aren't. I, I hate how easy this wave looks. This wave looks like it's supposed to be like super easy, but wow, these gaps are like really hard. <laughs> I know that's like the most obvious thing I could, I could ever say, but like, look at this, dude. Ooh, close. I kind of want to pass this. I don't know why. But then again, that might be a little bit of a stretch because considering the fact that I'm struggling a lot with just getting the first like three inputs. Just passing an individual part like this, which is like five inputs is ridiculous, dude. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to beat this uh, or uh, be able to pass this wave in one attempt, sadly. Dude, that jump right there feels so unfair. <laughs> I'm going to be real with you. That feels so unfair. You're just kind of like thrown into that. It's like, ah, oh, you... You gotta land on the backside of that spike, but you can't jump too early, you can't jump too late. It gets, get fucked, kid. That feels surprisingly reasonable. Wow, that, I did not think I was gonna say that. This part, that feels very, why am I finding this to be like a reasonable thing? Other than the fact that you have to do like this, this gap right here is really hard, right? And you have to like fly between this, but like, this doesn't feel like it's impossible. I feel like this is like the first part that I'm like, oh yeah, I can do this. This right here, though, on the other hand, this second half of the ship is, oh, God. I actually don't know if I can pass this. Like, this, this is actually just kicking my ass. I might just be a bad start position or something, but, like, wow. This 
That is a tight gap. Oh boy. Oh, I don't know how I did that. That was crazy. How am I passing some of these? Like, I feel like I moved from like 48 to 55 extremely fast, even though I was stuck at 46 for like a billion years. Uh huh. Because if I'm not mistaken, you have to go, go like, yeah, you have to like jump into this, go here, go between this, which is hard because you have to like avoid this and then go down and hit the blue orb. That is a woo, okay. Okay, I, I mean, I passed it. I feel like I'm kind of cruising through this right now. Why am I playing this so well? <laughs> like, I feel like uh, some of these things I'm just like doing extremely well for no reason. Like I, I actually like speed ran that part. Okay, I was trying to see if I can pass this. I, I don't like how 69 is like genuinely a really hard click. Uh, it probably isn't. I'm just like sucking ass right now. I always I, I, I always think it's like intentional whenever they make like 69 a ridiculously hard click for no other reason other than haha funny. Yeah, why am I not passing that? I don't know why. That, that feels like a weird click. Oh, then we have this part. I love this part. Like it, the, the, the saw blades and everything. Just, this part is sick. But my God, look at look at how tight the, these this part is. It's actually hilarious, bro. Because you have to like hold into it, and it's just oh, you just got you just need pixel perfect precision here. Look at how eerily close this is, though. Like you don't really have any room for any error here. Like this feels to me like it's just a massive choke point, and people are gonna die to this a ton. 72, I can already tell is gonna be like a very rough part for a lot of players. What, what do I do here? I'm actually gonna be confused here. Okay, that was really awkward, really weird. I don't know what that was. That didn't feel good though. That's my one issue so far. That, 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 that little ball part right there was really not good. Oh, I, I, I remember when Wolves buffed this to be this and he posted it on Twitter. Everyone was like, oh, what the hell? That is disgusting. And it's still disgusting. This, this click feel is absolutely ridiculous. The fact that this is like at the very end as well, evil, actually evil. Okay, this makes 75 and Tartarus look like weakling stuff. Uh, these ball clicks are hilariously hard. I won't lie. I'm gonna try and pass this. I don't know why. I just want to try and pass this. Dude, this wave is so, how is this at the end? How is it 98%, bro? This, this feels like the Abyss of Darkness ending, but like harder, which is really silly by the way, because the Abyss of End, the Abyss of Ending, the Abyss of Darkness ending is stupid. The fact that this feels like genuinely harder than it is really, oh boy. Oh, okay. What is this last click, dude? Okay, there we go. Cool, very cool. Okay, so. Thoughts and opinions. I'm. I think this level is great. I actually do have a very pleasant opinion about this level. Surprisingly enough, I know a lot of people are gonna be like, you know, you know. But this level is absolutely insane. I do think it's genuinely good, and I'm actually looking forward to it being rated. It's gonna dethrone Slaughterhouse. I mean, I kind of hope so in a sense because I do think this is just a better level. While I think Slaughterhouse conceptually is a great top one and not necessarily a great level, I think this is. It challenges you in everything. It challenges you in straight fly wave timings, everything, and it's consistently very difficult throughout the entire thing. It has a couple of choke wins, which I think are probably gonna end up being quite annoying for people such as 31 and 72, or at least that's what I thought uh, going through this. Uh, but we're gonna see what happens. Huge shout outs again to uh, Zoink for verifying insane, insane stuff. Anyway, I'll see you guys around. Each green cell to stay hydrated. I think we're making my day better. Hope it was a little bit better too. Yeah, I hope this gets rated.